and Good. welcome to Oklahoma City, man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. I'm I, excited to be here. I, I wondered, um, it, it's one thing to kind of monitor teams uh, from afar or watch them on TV or anything. What was it like playing against Oklahoma City before you came here? Yeah, I mean, especially last year, um, you know, with the success the team had, we caught them early in the year when I was in Chicago, first game of the season at our place, and then uh, not more than a month later. Uh, and they were kind of just finding, you know, their groove early in the season. Um, so it was fun to watch, you know, from afar, just just to see, you know, how they operated and, and the diversity, I think, that the team has with, you know, weapons and then the intensity, you know, the, the competition that, that these guys like to play with. I think that's something that I admired from afar. Not your first time in Oklahoma City, of course. You have a relationship with Mark Dagnall. What's yeah. that like? And then what's that like rekindling that? Yeah, it's really it's really cool. Uh, I still have pictures in my phone um, from, you know, when I was on the blue and I have like I'm, I'm in like sitting on the sideline ready to check in. And he's like talking to me. And it's just crazy to see, you know, seven, eight years later, however many seasons it's been, uh, the success that he's been able to find and that I've been able to find. And then somehow our paths cross coming back to the same place. Uh, I'm really excited just to play for him because I know how good of a coach he is. Uh, you, you know, all the things that, that you want out of a good coach, like he's, he's very selfless. Um, but I think he's, he's, he's stern and demands, you know, a certain level of, of sure. competitiveness, uh, you know, availability for your teammates and, and just, you know, uh, the ability to just be at your best every night. I think he, he kind of demands that. And I think he does a good way of coaching guys, depending on, you know, how they respond to that. Mark, uh, yeah. Mark. We got Mark Rogers on with yeah. us as well. Mark, you got a question? Alex, what is the defensive potential of this team? I mean, you're bringing your, your defensive prowess to this group that already is really good on the perimeter and then added some more rim presence on the off season as well. Yeah. I think that's one of the things I'm most excited about. Um, obviously that's what I've hung my hat on uh, coming into the league. That's been the staple for me to, to, have a long career um, and to, you know, go into year eight now and, and be on three different teams. So to, to join a team, I think, you know, Thunder analytically, their numbers were top five in just mm -hmm. about every category last year in the league. Um, I think I'm just excited to be a part of that. Obviously, we'd love to replicate that, if not do better. But, you know, you got to show up each night and do it. That's the thing about defense in the league that's hard to do is everybody can score. Like if you don't show up and do your job, somebody can go off. So uh, just – being ready to show up every night and compete with these guys. Well, I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you about being an elite defender and kind of what goes into that. And mm -hmm. it, it's any number of things. It's understanding your scout. Uh, it's knowing angles and it's effort. And so it's a combination of things that make up a, an excellent defensive player. If you had to put emphasis on one attribute, though, when it comes down to to being an elite individual defender, what would that be? I think it's how competitive are you. Okay. Um, I think you look back at any of the great, you know, defenders in the league um, from whatever time, you know, some guys that, that really stick out just with their intensity and effort, you know, guys like uh, Tony Allen, uh, Kevin Garnett, like uh, a Ben Wallace, like it, it, just to name a few, like there's there's mm -hmm. countless others. But these guys play with an intensity and, a, and a competitiveness that, you know, you might have scored and hit them with the best move ever this possession down the floor, but the next time down the floor, they have amnesia, they wipe it clean and they go right back at it. Like they got the stop last possession. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's, that's a unique talent to have. And it's something that's really important playing against the best players in the world. Uh, Kale Gundy on with us as well. Wants to ask you a question. Yeah, Alex. Hey, a uh, quick question here. I noticed you got uh, several uh, nicknames, bald Mamba, bald Eagle, Caruso, <laughs> goat, AC, white Mamba 2-0 and the accountant. Mm -hmm. One you prefer? Those are some good ones. Yeah, no, they've started to stack up over the years. Uh, <laughs> a, a lot of those, a lot of those originated when I was in LA. I think, I think my favorite is probably Caruso. Uh, I think that's Caruso. That's the one I, I think like that, that sticks the most for me. I that's, like it. That's the one I would pick too. Yeah. The rest of them. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. Hey, uh, you, you talked about scouting guys. What was a scout on Shea and, and, and Chet and J Dub? I mean, you played them early in the season, of course. But what was the what was the scout on defending them? Yeah, I mean, each three unique, different players. You know, just the, the skill sets that each of them have is is really diverse. It makes you know what makes this team so good is is you know the ability for all three of them to score for themselves, be a mismatch on offense. Um, be an elite defender on the other end, but you know, at any point in time, they'll play make and get the other guys involved. So uh, I'm really excited just to compliment them. Um, Shea is obviously, you know, his his numbers and, and the years that seasons he's had speaks to himself. Uh, J Dub's really stepping up and, and starting to grow, and, and I'm excited. I've watched a lot of film on him and Chet over the summer, just 
YouTube to to um, sport track stuff. Uh, just trying to figure out you know what they really like to do and how they play and how I can compliment them. Um, but yeah, just excited to play with them. Three young, extremely talented guys. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck. Yeah, Alex, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.